Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time we are getting it all in the rather chill puzzler, Down in Bermuda. Now this was developed and published by Yak and & Co, and is available usually for £16.74, but has been on sale a lot and has recently went down to as little as 2 bucks. so keep an eye out for a mega sale. So we play as Milton, who looks more like Uncle Albert from Only Fools and Horses, as he gets stuck in the Bermuda Triangle like a silly sausage, and gets trapped for a slight, short, small three decades. So, we have six levels to crack, solving puzzles and finding stars and orbs in order to leave. See, it's that easy to leave. I don't know why the others haven't just chose that tactic. Just look for orbs, job done. Um, anyway, achievements-wise, they're not too difficult at all. There's five missable ones, one timed one, but be warned, if you make a mistake or miss one in a particular level, there is no chapter select and you cannot restart a level, so you would have to play all over again, as I angrily found out on the very last level. So you're looking at maybe around two to three hours to complete this, but hopefully I've gone slow slash fast enough in the video that you can keep up and get it done in less than two hours. So I'm pretty sure that's all covered, so with that being said then, let us begin. And it is a nice, beautiful setting. Everything's great down in Bermuda. My assumption is the real Bermuda Triangle doesn't exactly look like um, what it's about to look like. But, uh, you know, if anyone's managed to get out and now they're playing, uh, watching YouTube videos and playing games, then please let me know if this is exactly what it'll look like. So, first things first, we've got a small little puzzle to solve. And these are... <clears throat> excuse me, this one's easy enough. So... Left stick to move, press the A button to drag the tiles around, and as you can see, so we've got the first one there, drag that one down, drag this stone down, and then drag the one that looks like a fork all the way down, and just drag these two up, and that's the first puzzle done. Now, there will be a missable achievement for one of those um, sliding tile puzzles, like I said, in level 6, um, which you have to get within 14 moves, and if you end up making a mistake, you're going to have to play all over again, like I said, as I found out. So, um, you can pan using the D-pad up, left, right, and down, and whatever. So we're going to press the button on this big monument right here. And then again, left stick, press the A button to move the slide over. I mean, obviously, this just serves as, as a tutorial level. So you can either press the left bumper or right bumper to move the camera, drag the switch down, or you can use the right stick to move the camera. So either the bumpers or the right stick to move, whatever's easier for you. So going back, pushing the two switches and slide it across. We've already got our first achievement, so we're flying. Flying with our wings down in the Bermuda Triangle. Which, tell you what, if it looks... Um, by the way, these two stones right here, just move them both to two triangles each side, and that will get this turtle who's been just apparently randomly chilling in this weird monument for a couple of decades now if like i said if the bermuda triangle looks like this i know a lot of people that would uh, certainly take that as a three decade long uh, holiday right now i know i could do with it peace and serenity sort of anyway here comes the uh, completely stoner turtle dude and why do they make all turtles look like pure stoners because <laughs> it's funny, that's why. You're not tired, you've just had too much weed. 563 years. <laughs> We're complaining about three decades, Jesus Christ. So anyway, this is what the orbs look like. And this is what gets us into the portals to get into next levels. So press the A button on it to collect that. And the first portal will appear. So as you can see, we've got the first one. We need another two to nip on through. And like I said, if it, it's just this easy. All you've got to do is... Wake up a couple of sleeping turtles, do a couple of puzzles, look for some stars, and you're out of the Bermuda Triangle. Simple. So this is the star, uh, star monument, we'll call it, for the game. Now basically, obviously what you have to do is collect stars in order to fill that up, which will get us the last orb, which gets us going. <clears throat> so, press the right trigger and left trigger to zoom in and out. Obviously, D-pad to um, pan around and go everywhere. So the first star is on your right, right there, and the second one is in the treasure chest on the left-hand side. There, that one is. Now, just up above us, you can see um, a monument. What we're going to do is pan to the right first, and in the plane is the third star. How did um, Uncle Albert miss that one? Um, so as you can see, you can press it again, but obviously we need another four to go. So pan up a little bit. There's a star in here, but there's also a star map. Now, every time you collect one of these, when we get to this menu, the pause menu, just press the B button to back out. Never open up a star map menu. That will avoid an achievement at the end of the game. 
So make sure every there's only one in each level to collect, but never open it. So grab the two stars here, the one in the monument, the one to the right side. Go to the right a little bit and inside this monument there. And there is a photo as well that we need to collect. So grab that one as well. So yeah, it's going to be one of those. <laughs> Flying games. I'm too fat to talk, damn it, so it takes me a while to catch up. Wait a minute. So anyway, um, we're going to get star map, photos, and a whole bunch of stats. We need to collect every single stat on every island, again, to get another achievement at the end of the game. So spin the camera around again, using the right stick or left bumper or right bumper. Grab the star in between the two bushes, and that is that done. So now we can go back to the star monument, press the triangle, and... Ba -ba -ba -bim, that gives us the orb of life. And now we can leave the Bermuda Triangle, and that's it. Ten minute game done. Now, if this was a jetalon or an East Asia soft game, we would actually have been done about three minutes ago. But it's a Yak and Co game, so we've got quite a while to go. You should also get the achievement for collecting all the orbs in Toitl Island. Press the red button, and let's go. If it was that good a portal mind, it would just shoot us to the last island, really, wouldn't it? But who am I? I've never been in the Bermuda Triangle, and I don't know anything about portals, so... Phew, well, that sucks. So, welcome to Secret Base Island then. So this is the second level. Now, a lot of these levels we're going to be coming back to in order to get the rest of the stats in terms of keys and locks, etc. Um, but, you know, we'll come to that. So, nay panic about nay that. So as we start, you can already see two stars. One on the right in this cave underwater. Grab that boy. And one just underneath where Uncle Milton Albert is. Uh, in the lighthouse, so that'll be those two first. Then we can do is spin the camera around a little bit, go down, and in this cave just underneath the lighthouse is another star. There's a sawfish in there as well. I wouldn't uh, put your genitalia too close to that. That would pinch a bit. So go down. You can see this puffer fish. Um, don't bother opening the hatch. There's nothing in there. Um, but there's a little device just to the right of this puffer fish. So uh, spam on that a couple of times. That's going to get another star. There's going to be an achievement for. Um, clicking on these puffer fish. There's three in this level, uh, but you need to click on a puffer fish ten times. So click on this one, grab the star underneath him, and sort of head to the left up. It's a bit weird, this one, especially in terms of <laughs> controls and everything. But you can see a star on the bottom left-hand corner behind these... I, I don't know, is that supposed to be cactuses underwater or something? Pan slightly right, and there's another star in the cave. Um, every time you see a puffer fish, just keep puffing them up again until we uh, can slap out that achievement. So keep heading up for now. And just on the right-hand side there is that little device. Smash that one up a couple of times. And we get another star. Um, again, give yourself the old uh, Mrs. Puff, the old, uh, t -t -t -t, the old uh, blow. Um, give a blow job to a fish. Because you need to puff him up. That's why we need to blow a fish. And if the FBI are listening, no, it's not what it's... No, 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 that's not what you think it is. We're just going to keep blowing off this fish. Blowing up this fish, sorry. And have a look at the clam just above it to get an, another star. Um, so again, you you can just um, keep waiting for this one to, you know, uh, keep disappearing and uh, wait until the achievement unlocks. But what we're going to do is turn around, go to the back of this sort of... Um, these rocks right here, and interact with these green bud just for another star. And again, just keep um, blowing off the fish. Or blowing up the fish. Watch out for the poison bit, though. Because that would hurt if you're blowing off a fish and it's poison. Have a look at the hatch. Uh, pan in left ever so slightly to get another star. And we're just going to blow off this poisonous fish once more. Oh, I bet that hurts. Ah, puts you off fish. Unless you're a fat git like me, then it doesn't put you off anything at all. So I think we're all done for stars in this particular section anyway. So again, just um, I'm just basically waiting for the puffer fish to keep nipping down. Um, so yeah, you can just keep doing the same one. But there is another one uh, further on the left-hand side. That's why I'm not bothering. Um, but I won't bother. But remember to get the star from the hatch just there. And you can have a look in that device, but there's nothing in there. So keep heading to the left. We're going to come back to this puzzle later on. But as you can see, we've got a little bit of a boating situation. So grab the photo, first of all, and let's have a look at what's going on in this photo. Oh, baby, I see. Everyone's like, I'm so proud to be a pilot. And they're like, nah, bro, I'm just horny. I, I only came here to meet women. Agnes. 
because that's a young woman's name, right, Agnes, these days? Anyway, open up the treasure chest and grab this key. That also counts as a stat. Pan down, interact with the lock, and that counts as another stat. There's going to be two what are called relics, and there's going to be a ton of these to collect, but these just count as um, stats as well. So we'll be grabbing keys, locks, photos, the star map, and these relics. That They are what counts, so make sure to grab the two out of there. And then pan around ever so slightly to find the star map in the boat. Remember to just press the B button. Do not open up the star map because that will void an achievement. And make sure to grab the star on the left-hand side in this sort of boathouse right Yeah. <sighs> God damn it, I need a drink. Glug, glug. So there's nothing in this hatch, don't worry about that. But we're going to um, spin the camera around. There's going to be something in this hatch. Another star for us to collect a Reno. And if we just spin the camera around a bit more, you can see another star just underneath the cave on the left-hand side. And there's going to be another star on top of this green bud. So open that up four times. Bam, there's another star. So when I say pan, um, that means sort of move in from left to right. Um, get this puffer fish. I unlock the achievement here. Um, but obviously just make sure to... You, you, if you don't unlock it yet, don't worry, just interact with the fish as many times as you can until you get it. So there is a treasure chest just above the fish right there uh, with a relic inside. So that's another stat done in the middle of this minefield. Oh my god. And then we can just go back to the lighthouse so we can pan up to the lighthouse. So that's why when I say pan up or pan, we're basically moving the camera and... I'm going to say spin for the other one to sort of spin the camera around uh, just to try and make things as easy as possible. So press the red button there on the back of the lighthouse and then interact with the two blue switches. Get them going. Get that motor running. And we're going to have a small little puzzle, which is actually very easy. All we need to do is interact with the top button, the right button and the bottom button to get the three stars needed for salvation. Although, apparently, it takes me a couple of seconds to figure that out. Also, what you'll see is me stop for potentially 5 to 10 seconds. Because there are so many stars and things to collect in the game, it's more just a case of... Um, I press the red button to get the stars out, collect all three. But, yeah, it's me just checking my notes, just because there's so much stuff to do in this game. So, if I'm waiting around for 5 seconds or so, well, now you know why. So, pan down ever so slightly. There's going to be another relic on the rock with the red Patrick starfish. I don't see no Spongebob. Where the hell Squidward? Anyway, heading up, there's going to be another star, very sneakily hidden, just underneath at the back of the lighthouse on the cliffs. And then we can just spin around and interact with this red button on the floor. And there's going to be a steering wheel that's going to stick out and makes you feel all pirate-ish. So press the A button and then spin it with the left trigger, or the left stick, sorry. Just pressing the A button doesn't work. You've got to press the, you've got to move the steering wheel with the left stick. And then Big Die Past is going to come out now. Ah, sorry, I had a drink. All this talking is doing my own tits in. And he's not Die Pasty, he's Die TV, apparently. Of course, Die being just David in um, the old uh, Welsh Valleys. Right, we need to push these buttons in a particular order. So the first one is the third one down, then the second, then the fourth button, and then the first. And... Die Pasty TV will be very happy with that one. Because now we can have a look at the other side, which he hasn't been able to apparently for about 500 years. So we've got a little puzzle to do now. Again, not too bad. So just swing this um, knob around. It's going to go up a little bit. What you need to do is interact with this button on this side and have a look at the other side for another button. Interact with that. And then push the two buttons that have just popped out. Bomp, bomp, bomp. And the rest, there's going to be four buttons on the bottom now to push. So smash, smash, spin the camera around. Smash, smash, smash. God damn, you're good at this game. And then the one <laughs> the one that comes out, slide that one down. And then a second tower is going to eventually pop out. When we interact with this lever. Or lever. It really depends where you're from. But, um... Right. There is a certain section of what to do. Um... Basically, you've just got to move these up and down, but I'm just going to tell you what to do anyway. It's a triangle for the top one. And it's going to be, um, sorry, no, it's going to be circle for the top one. And then it's going to be two diamonds and then a square at the bottom. So circle, diamond, diamond, and then a square. And then this should open up. And we can collect our first Orberoni. 
out of four Aroni. See, flying. Look at that, 15 minutes in and flying. Now, apparently this is a sea monster, but, um, well, let's just say that there's only fans girls who have probably put worse in them. Um, <laughs> rather than that supposed sea monster. Because you know what that sea monster looks like, red? <laughs> red. Anyway, get rid of the panel, grab the two stars, and then click this red button up to six times. Oosh. Come on, die's dying right here. And then interact with the switch, again moving it up with the left stick. And then we're going to get this next puzzle out. Puzzles, again, are pretty simplistic in this game. There's nothing that's overly difficult. Um, now, what you need to do is actually interact with the lever and then make a specific shape. But again, this is just me checking my notes. So let me just pretend like I'm reading my notes right now. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god, this walkthrough is crap. Oh my god, I'm a failure at life. But I'm actually not. So what we're gonna, <laughs> what we're gonna do is leave that one for now. We're gonna get them big Uncle Albert Milton over a couple of times. So just interact with him uh, two or three times, and then as soon as he gets to the sawfish bit, interact with the sawfish, boop, and he's gonna slap down a couple of these bad boy stars for us. You can slap so many stars at this bad boy. And again, so what you need to do is interact with the lever there. Eventually, I'll get that one. And then all you need to do is interact with the second part and the fourth part once. So there's five parts. So just interact with the second from the top and the second from the bottom, second and fourth. And interact with the lever again. That is going to get this side open. So Dai's having a wonderful time right now. Yeah, to be fair, mind if you're stuck in there for 500 years with no view. Although, it's, I think a lot of people would enjoy that. But anyway, there's the next orb. So now we've got two out of four ready to go. Now, this side of David, there is a little hatch just underneath uh, exactly where David is right now. There is a star in there, but I actually missed this one now, and I end up getting it a little bit later on. So don't worry, I I physically cannot miss any... You can't miss any stars anyway. Um, but now I'm like, oh, for God's sake, I thought I had it down. And like I said, there's so many stars and everything that you kind of just... It's easy to miss one, very annoyingly. But, uh, yeah, so if we just go around the corner to where Big Die Past the TV is, there's the hatch on the left-hand side. And grab the star, that'll be the last star. Fantastic. Wow, look at you go. You're better than me. Damn it. So now we're going to drop with the star monument, click the triangle on it, and we're going to have yet another small puzzle to do. Now, all you got to do is just interact with these four things. Dials or whatever on the floor. Oh God, excuse me. And then just do the exact same ones I want. So the top left one is like a T with a dot on it. Then the um, bottom left is kind of like a L, backwards L shape and an I. Yeah, we'll just call it that. Top right is that weird symbol there. And the bottom one is the sort of emoji with two mouths, if you want to call it that. An eyes and two mouths. So that gets out the, the orb anyway. That's going to be three out of four. So... Yeah, we're flying along. But what we need to do now, we've got the anal beaded sea monster. Again, if there's any uh, OnlyFans girls watching this, they're going, Oh my god, that looks awesome. I'll have to grab one of those myself. Anyway, put the left lever all the way at the top, and then the bottom lever all the way at the bottom. What you need to do is just fire 12 cannons. So, you've done the first one there. So just keep mashing that red button 12 times until... I mean, to be fair, Uncle Albert right there is pretty strong to be slamming some fiery um, barrels in there. But, uh, yeah, all you got to do... Don't, you don't need to mess with the levers at the minute. You can just keep spamming the A button until the anal beaded sea monster just eats him, basically. And we just get the achievement for firing it 12 times. Now, I only show you me doing it four times just to save a little bit of time on the video, that's all. But again, even with the spikes and everything, these OnlyFan girls are looking at it and going, hmm, I wonder, I wonder if I could fit all of that up, up inside myself. But uh, anyway, we've got no time for you OnlyFans girls at the minute. You make in 500 grand a week while I'm making nothing. Not jealous at all, of course. <laughs> but now we can do the puzzle properly. So the left lever, put it down to the middle and uh, keep the bottom lever all the way to the left. That's going to put it on the first minefield, and the anal beaded sea monster gets the first hit. So, now what we need to do is grab the left lever and put it at the top, and then move it over 
the bottom lever at once. And that will hit it onto this other minefield. And for the final time, all you need to do is grab the left lever, pop him all the way down, and leave the bottom lever as it is. Press the red button. And again, our OnlyFans friends are sad to see this one die. But they are furiously googling right now anal beaded sea monsters to see if that's an actual thing. Which, these days, <laughs> it's got to be, isn't it? There's, there's bound to be something like that. Somebody put up your butt and coming out your mouth. Anyway, we, we, we'll, we'll begin a bit off track. Go ahead and make sure to grab the orb, which is in the middle of the minefield section. Me being an absolute donkey's butt snatch right now is forgetting that. <laughs> but the orb doesn't get to you automatically. You've still got to collect it. So there it is then, just in the middle of the minefield. By the way, that's the um, last time I'll ever mention the... Um, Anally infused OnlyFans girls on this uh, particular video. So, happy days. Anyway, that should get us the secret agent achievement, and we can now move on to level three. So, top job, Uncle Alby, and everyone else. We are golden as hell. On to Forest Island. Hmm, this is a jungle. I tell you what, Dwayne Johnson right now is thinking this could be a film. Because Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, is in every forest jungle film. Which is pretty good, because I love the man. So, here we are then, on to level 3. Now, to get the first orb immediately, what we need to do is uh, interact with these um, funny little creatures who've managed to get themselves stuck. So, you need to interact with them three times, spin the camera around, and you just need to interact with this guy, and there's going to be another guy. How they've got themselves into this situation? Is this kind of like a BDSM thing gone wrong? Well, I don't know, actually, because they look like... Um, Teletubbies or some weird things. They've got leaves sticking out of their heads. God damn, they've got pig noses. I'm intrigued. Very intrigued. Anyway, they're happy, so hey, no problem. We're, we're all good. Smash out the orb. That's another orb for us to collect. We've got five to do, but it's not a very long level, to be honest. So we should be good. So the first thing you can do, um, again, really depends on how well you like your uh, zoom. If you like it right in or right out. But heading just down slightly, interact with the top middle mushroom, and then the bottom left mushroom. Then the top left, and then the bottom right, then the bottom middle, and then the top right. And then what that's going to do is open up this little grassy knoll of life with a couple of stars in. So make sure to grab the three stars out of there. Again, if you do that out of order, um, it just won't work, so you have to do it in that particular order. So, have a look at this domed rock on the right. That will house a relic for us as well. So, flying with the relics. Head down onto the next level. And just between the rock and the rock. The rock and the rock. The rock and the plant is the next star. Have a look at this lily pad on the left. And that's another star for us to collect. Then if we just head up, we can interact with the treasure chest. That houses yet another star. God damn, we're good. God damn, we're so freaking fantastic right now. So go to the left ever so pan to the left ever so slightly, turn the camera around, and there's going to be a photo on the bench. Now let's see what's happening here. Oh, they got married. Look, all the horn doggedness from bumping, bumping uglies on the plane. They got married. So, ah, that's nice. Um, anyway, tree right to the uh, just to the right of you houses yet another star. So make sure to grab that one, and then we can spin the camera around. And we can pan the camera left. Just past this fountain, there's another rock that we can interact with. Grab a key from there. And then if we go, uh, we can pan left ever so slightly again. Uh, but we're going to interact with a couple of huts. So the one, the hut on the right will house a star. And then if you interact with the hut on the left, eventually. Or we're going to go with the lily pad. Sorry, we're going with the lily pad first. Grab a star from underneath the lily pad. And then, we're going to get a missable achievement and another star from this hut. So, what you need to do is just basically wait for the duck to go inside. And then interact with the door so he comes out. We just need to do that three times. Job am's done, yes. He takes, a, he takes a while, old Howard the Duck. Like he's never had freedom before. Is he not from America? <laughs> freedom in America. That's not a thing no more. Um, anyway, just joking, Americans. You know I love you. Anyway, head to the left on the docks is <laughs> the next star map. Again, press the B button. Do not look at the star map. Just in case. So we can zoom back out. And let's interact with the hut one more time. And that will unlock us the achievement. There she blows. 
So Howie the Duck is done. So now we can go on to this next bit. So spin the camera around slightly and interact with this star just where the cave sort of meets the water right there. And I'll go to this sheep pen just behind this big bush. It's kind of like a big Minecraft head bush is another star. And then what we can do is spin the camera around and then turn left. And now we're going to do like a big puzzle. Very easy enough, but still it's a big puzzle we have to do. So we need to interact with this little midget, green leafed midget on the right, on the rock. And we need to interact with this lever, or lever, four times. Unos, dos, tres, cuatro. You know you won't be. I know you won't be. My name is Pitbull, you know it, won't you? Anyway, um, getting off track again there. Interact with these switches a couple of times again. All four, and then there's going to be something else that pops out of the ground. Uh, so we need to gr drag that out with the left stick and the A button, then press the switch. Then interact with all four levers. Again, these weird Bulbasaur-looking creatures have lived here all their life. They still haven't managed to figure this out. God, how dumb are you? Waiting, waiting for a random computerized guy three decades on to do this. So anyway, when that's done, interact with this and then pull these switches out from the sides. Again, slide them out and then you need to push the buttons and then quickly turn around and push the buttons on the other side. You do get a bit of time, but um, they do actually run out. So if they run out, just well, push all four buttons quicker. That's job done. So we're going to get something else that pops out of the ground now. So slide that bad boy out. Go towards the back and then slide the slider to the right. Turn back around and then just on the left hand side of this is actually a button for us to press. Which again is taking my time. Hello. Hello. There we go. Thank you. So slide that out and then we just need to mash the button just a couple of times. To get the power partially on. And I tell you what, Uncle Albert slash Milton couldn't even get past the first puzzle. So how, you know, how he's managed to live. He's probably forgotten how to eat. Bloody donkey. Anyway, this next one pops out. So we need to grab two, uh, push two switches in. And we need to interact with all of the four switches that pop out of, right? Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. Here we go. So this is for another puzzle in just a bit. But we have to do now is get a certain color-coded section right. So interact with the hatch. They're going to turn light green, so the second one down we need to interact with four times, so make sure to push that four times for it to go white. The third one, click once to go yellow, and then the fourth one, um, click it seven times in order for it to go black, and that'll go ba 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 job is done. For this one, get the lever with the circle and push it um, away from the circle, and the one with the square, push it away, and then the plus and the triangle, push it towards the two symbols. And that is how you figure that one out. So, ha, ah, easy, right? Right, because uh, this is a guide. Of course it's easy. Otherwise, you'd probably be tearing your nutsack off right now. So, the power's back on. Happy days. We've just helped this little midget Bulbasaur-looking thing. So, he gives us an orb. Again, I mean, Uncle Albert is a human. He could have probably just beaten him up for the orb, but... You know, that's fine. Anyway, so we're going to um, basically go back to where, these, uh, where we just done the puzzle. Right here. If we turn to the right, pan the camera around to the right. Just in this little pink rock is another star. So, that one is that. Now, what we can do is interact with a domed rock just up on the next level. That's going to get us another relic. And we are good for this section. No, no sorry. Uh, in, pan to the right, sorry. In, in this leftmost hat is another star so make sure to grab that before moving all the way to the left next to where the greenhouse is so a couple of things we're going to do in this section since it's a puzzle game so you know this is what we got to do uh, but the first things first interact with the treasure chest and grab the next relic so that's another stat for us and then just up above that behind the door is another star in the greenhouse fly in so what we're going to do now is turn it around and there is another star just in the cutout of the cliff. Who's hiding these stars here, man? The Bermuda gods. Well, that's pretty awful. Right, so turn around. What you need to do is interact with this bunny by the rock three times. Okay, he's going to pop in. Interact with 
Um, I don't think it's. I, I think it's any specific order you can any order you can do it in. But I just do the bunny by the rock three times, then the bunny by the plant three times, and then there's another three rabbits hiding in the grass. Interact with them three times, and then we're going to get another couple of delicious stars to stick down our neck, Viagra style. Ba -ba, bim, 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 bim. So we've got the Rugrats styled infused stars. That should be three. That we've just grabbed. So now we can zoom out, spin the camera around, and then we can have a look at the, the house, the door with the chimney just in the cliff up above. Open up the door to grab another star. Pan to the left and then spin the camera around. And then in the log at the end of the island is another star. So easy to miss these ones. Frustrating, yes. Pan to the left, just underneath in the cave right there, is another star. Let's make sure to grab that one. And then, if we go up a level in the door right here on the left-hand side by the mushrooms, is another star. And then if we go up another level again, we need to sort of, in, in between the sort of blue and red tree or whatever that is, just in the cutout in the pink rock, or white rock, I'm colorblind, so that doesn't go well. Partially colorblind anyway, but there is another star for us to grab there. So, uh, in terms of stars, um, have a look at the left, just by Milton. It's very hidden one in between the two trees in the cutout by the rock. Again, so again, very well hidden. And we are pretty much this time as golden as nugget in as can be. Now what we can do is just interact with the beehive a couple of times. And we are going to get a puzzle, um, which all you have to do is just spin... Uh, spin the uh, tiles, if you want to call them that, a couple of times, in order for it, in order, in order for the water to get into the fountain. So interact with that a couple of times. But again, if you'd rather just get to the end of that puzzle, just go ahead and skip to 32 minutes and 55 seconds, and then pause it if you'd rather just do that. See the finished product. So we've got our third orb, and we've got this, um, what looks like a tarantula spider with genital warts on his back. What the hell have you been doing in this triangle, boy? And, and you've got about eight eyes, and is that a real tarantula? Anyway, what we need to do to get rid of this one, we've got another puzzle, so just go ahead and skip to around 30 seconds or so um, to see, once again, the finished product, if you prefer that one. I mean, do these Bulbasaur creatures know nothing? All you need to do to kill a genital watered infected spider with about 12 eyes is water and electricity. Jesus, and all it's took is someone like us, fantastic humanoids, to uh, sort that one out. So, right, anyway, we've got one orb left to find. 
And what I'm trying to actually find is the Star Monument. So apologies that I'm a bit of a donkey with this one, but there it is. So there's the Star Monument, and just underneath the lily pad should be the final star. So now we can go ahead and click on the triangle. And do 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 do. You know what, it's always a bit of a tense time, like, please, please don't say I've missed one. Please. So these statues come up anyway. Interact with the left one three times until the owl boy, until Roy Hodgson, the owl, is looking to the left. The middle one, interact with that three times until it's looking at us. Roy, don't hit me, Roy. And then the second one, interact with that one twice. And that will open up the secret compartment, get in the orb, and finishing this level... Then we can just go ahead and go to the longest level in the game, and most annoying, um, just because it's quite uh, quite tedious, to be honest, in the end, the shipwreck is land. So yes, this is the longest and generally the most annoying, like I said, in terms of it just d does get a bit boring towards the end. But immediately what we'll do as we can start, immediately zoom out and then we can spin the camera around. We're going to grab two stars already, one hanging off this big bushy um, 1970s vaginal bush. And there's one just in the cave as well, right there. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's just a tree, isn't it? Pan to the right slightly, and in this little cutout of rock, it's the third star already, and there's a photo on the pink rock on the right, so make sure to interact with that. Now, let's see what's happening in old Uncle Albert's story. He's a kid with a duck. Okay, that's a pretty big duck, but, um, yeah, nothing interesting going on by there. Oh, sorry, that's his daughter. Oh, right, so now we're starting to get the story, like, oh, my daughter, oh, my God, no way. Anyway, pan up very slightly until you see these, um, one ship, two, two, three wheels, steering wheels, I wasn't trying to say ship, interact with the three wheels and then this boat comes out of absolutely nowhere. Um, the bottom left hand corner, just underneath that uh, leaf was another star before we pan around, very easily to miss that one. Uh, but open up the hatch, grab the star, interact with the treasure chest and there is another stat for us to collect, another rel eek. So that one's golden, so we're going to head down, pan down ever so slightly, and then just spin the camera around either to the left or right, where this white flag sticking out of is another star. So we're getting a lot of stars, a lot to do in this level, but luckily the last two are not too bad. So pan to the left ever so slightly again, spin the camera around, and in the cutout in the rock you can just see is another star. So now we can head up and to the right and speak to Bill Piratesworth, or his name's something like Billy Big Bollocksworth. Oh no, Bottomsworth. <laughs> because pirates plundered me bottom. Ouch. Anyway, what we can do is interact with the steering ship, steering wheel on the side of the cliff. Um, open up a secret passage for us that we're going to go into later. But just in the middle of this small island, interact with this smaller steering wheel. Bloop. There we go. And it's going to open up a little passage for us with another star of life. Our pirates blundered me bottom and my god, I can't walk. Not for decades now. Anyway, spin the camera um, all the way around, and there's going to be a there's going to be another star just hanging off these leaves, um, just on the edge of the island. So it can be quite uh, tricky to miss. There it is, though. I almost went past it just on the right. There it is. So just pa just by the crack in the island is the next star with a bunch of leaves on it. And then what we're going to do is. <laughs> Spin around, and there's going to be another star in a bush next to this blue weird creature. And just to the left of it is where you're going to see the star, and then you've got this kind of v Vaporeon from Pokemon kind of looking thing, if Vaporeon was sort of feminined up or something. Bunch of crap sticking out of her head again. So basically, she gives us a side quest, which we're not going to bother doing yet. We're going to go, uh, we're going on a star hunt. But if we turn the camera around so we're looking behind um, Cheap Vaporeon, now pan all the way up until you see the star monument. There it is. 
directly in front of us. And then what we're going to do is spin the camera to the left a little bit. And as you can see, just at the top in the log is the next star. And if we pan the camera sort of up and left just a touch, you're going to see the next star under this tree. There it is, just by the table, which is on your left. And then we can go ahead and pick up the star map on the left-hand side. Remember, again, we're going to press the B button to get our ass out of there. Because we will void the achievement if we look at the star map. So, zoom out, head down a little bit, and have a look in this treasure chest for yet another star. All types going on. This is one hell of a level. Spin it to the left ever so slightly. Or until basically we're looking in the sort of opposite direction. So, and again, and you see these stack of pink rocks? Yes, there is another star in there as well. So, grab that one. Job done. Now we can go down ever so slightly. Have a look in this hatch in this stranded boat for another star. And from here, what we're going to do is um, pan down a little bit to the left. There it is. In the middle of this stranded boat is another hatch for us to lick out. Lick out? Uh, look out for, I mean. Star in the hatch, so spin the camera around and grab the star. If, you, if you're licking out hatches, then you're going to go to need to see the doctor. Bit splintery on the old tongue. Anyway, head to the left. You see this big, giant, massive skull? Well, just on the left, underneath these big bushes again, is yet another star. So pick that one up. From here, and I apologise about the poor edit. Bump. Well, it's not too bad. But we're going to sort of go up and to the right, just where we see the ship. Um, with the three steering wheels on, there's another star in this cave uh, where these sort of tracks are. And then if we go to the right from here, eventually, let me just check my notes. That's me checking my notes. So, yeah, head to the right. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a note. Oh, I know where to go. Yeah, go to the right and spin it round underneath this cave where the boat is on top of this tiny island is yet another star so grab that one there are another two here but we're going to grab those a little bit later on for some reason i don't know why i just didn't do it now but there we go but we're going to head sort of to the end of the track and start to grab this cannon again drag it using the a button and the left stick <clears throat> now what we need to do is drag this cannon this is where it does get annoying because you've got to drag the cannon and you can't zoom out anymore but what we need to do is go to the ship in the middle of this sort of maze and we need to shoot um, three X's, one on the back here, and there's going to be two X's on the side. So again, just press the uh, A button to shoot. Also, what you're going to get is an achievement later on for, f for firing 50 cannons. So if you haven't got it by the time the uh, level finishes, make sure to slap that one out. So what's going to happen now is a Kraken is going to appear. Uh, cheap Vaporeon, Vaporeon if you ordered it from Wish, um, will be like, oh my god, we got to get this one. And what we need to do is... Actually kill, the, well, get rid of this Kraken in seven shots. So you can't make a mistake. If you accidentally um, hit the cannon but miss, that's fine. It's only if, so if you pour, um, put it down here to where Vaporeon is and shoot him up there. So if you end up um, hitting the Kraken and putting him into a wrong place, um, just quit out of the game and restart again. And then hopefully it should work. Uh, it should reset you back to this point. But anyway, so if we just head to the left again, uh, sort of where I am uh, underneath the trees, the opposite side of the blue Vaporeon creature, give it another little hit. So remember, if you do end up missing the Kraken with any shot, that's fine. Do not panic. Um, again, to the other side, just where the three wheels are. And then we're going to need to go back down to where Cheap Vaporeon is. And give it a hit. So again, so see, for instance... I hit, I um, shoot the cannon, but miss the Kraken. Again, it, like I said, it will be fine. So, I know I've said that three times, but it's a just in case you panic it. So, head to the sort of right, um, back to where the sort of Skull Island is, just below us. Give him another little cheeky ba doink a doink And, well, you know where we're going now. Back to the opposite side of the creature. And, well, give it! And that is the Kraken dealt with. So, yeah, if you do end up uh, messing up... Like I said, it should be easy enough to get this one done first time. But if you just um, quit out the game, completely quit out of the game, go back into the Xbox menu, make sure to grab the orb. That'll be your first out of three. Um, and then reload back in. Hopefully then that will uh, reset lovely. So from here, turn around so you're looking at the back of the portal. And there is another star that we're going to be looking at. 
looking for. If we just pan to the left and sort of up ever so slightly. There we go. That's where we're going then. So to the boat, just at the edge of the boat underneath the leaf. And to the left in the cutout of the pink rock. Remember we got the star which was in the cave just underneath us earlier on. But these are the next two that we've grabbed. Again, could have grabbed them earlier. Grabbed them now for some particular reason. But anyway, so that's those two done. Now, what's actually happening is... Um, I think I've forgotten at this point that I collected the one which was underneath the cave. Um, I think I, I writ down in my notes twice that, that the one we've already collected, I, I writ that one down twice underneath the cave here. So that's why I'm getting a little bit confused, so apologies about this one. Uh, but all we're going to do from here... We are going to head up, and we're looking at the boat. On this island that we're at now, there is a boat that is stranded, sort of leaning up against the one just above us right there. Um, so if we spin it all the way to the right, or not that one, but this one. You could have spun that left or right, doesn't matter, but there is the star underneath this little cutout with the boat being stranded up against the rock. Okay, so now we are going to be doing some cannon country in. And this really is the part where it does get, like I said, a little bit tedious. Because you're going to have to grab it. So we're going to grab it first and bring it down to this small section. But obviously what we need to do is shoot some stuff, D-pad, and go to the right more and stuff. So every time you go past this small section, it um, changes the opposite side, as you'll be able to see. So first thing we're going to do is shoot the X right here to grab ourselves a relic. Lovely, so make sure to grab that. So you should have the star out of the hatch, and now the relic out of the side of the boat. Go to the other side. If it's facing that way, just go uh, spin it back around this small section, and as you can see, it flips the opposite side. So there we go. But we are staying here, so we're going to spin the camera around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not COVID-related, promise. We're going to slap that wall, make the wall our biatch, and then we're going to go into the treasure chest, grab another relic. Move ever so slightly to the left, and there's going to be another X on the boat. Not your literal X's, of course. Don't be so disturbed. Disturbed. But there's going to be another relic in there, so make sure to chop that boy up. And now we can move on. So bring it past the star monument, and then if we turn to the right, you can see this little, little bum to snatch crack. Bum crack! Give that a whack, and there's going to be another relic in there for us to collect. So go ahead, grab that stat. Gone. Done. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Now I'm going to shoot this X as well, uh, which is just to the left of the crack, as you can see, because what that's going to do is bring up this another white rock with a big X on it, but we're going to leave that one for now. Uh, so don't panic about smashing that out right now. What we're going to do is just go ahead, shoot a few more bum to snatching things. And the first thing, what we're going to do is head all the way um, sort of to the left, if you want to call it. Back to where the blue Vaporeon piss poor creature was. And then what we're going to do is go up these tracks where we are now. Sorry again, just checking my notes. This is what I mean by the couple of sort of second delays. Um, but this is what we opened up uh, quite early on in the level so give that a whack and you're gonna find a blue key now after this level we're gonna start going back to the other levels to unlock keys and fiddle around with other stats we're gonna mess around we don't mess around in these guides though we get the achievements and then we piss off and get drunk well I don't because I'm a father <laughs> uh, which wants me to get drunk more so anyway we're gonna go back around this circle so now we're facing the opposite way as you can see, that's what we're going to be looking like. So make sure you're pointing the, well, the opposite way that we were before. And then we could just happily move on. So up past the boat, we're going up into this sort of sort of small wienerish section right here. And then what we're going to do is actually shoot the next X now. Now, we couldn't have done this before because, of course, we were facing the opposite way. And what that does is open up this hole and then we can get rid of that big crack, bum crack in a wall. So eventually, I figure out that um, it's not a cutscene and you can just zoom out. So what we can do is actually we're going to have to go back, which and this is the, this is where it, it just gets annoying. You have to go, 
you shoot one thing and then you've got to go back and make sure your cannons switch the opposite way and you know I know some games like to get a bit of long longevity in the games but come on so make sure that we're facing the opposite way again uh, like we were a bit earlier on so as long as you're facing this way you should be golden as a nuggety ball juice whatever that is I've never had a golden nugget ball juice but uh, there we go so head up and again, sometimes the controls can be extremely finicky as well, and that can get annoying. So what we need to do is actually just shoot the cannon. What we're going to do, sorry, is head to the left boat first, where the steering wheels are on, and make sure to grab the cannon here. Just getting ahead of myself, apologies. So make sure to grab that relic first from the ship with the three steering wheels on. And don't be a dumbass like I am right here. Um, you need to actually get closer in order for the cannon to shoot all the way through to the other side. But, um... Apparently, I've got a donkey brain for an absolute donkey butt snatch. And there is a star just there as well, which we will be grabbing as soon as we shoot the cannon through here. Uh, ju literally just to the right of the cannon in that little cubby hole bit is another star. But once we shoot the bum crack in the wall, we're going to see another treasure chest. And there's going to be another two relics in there, which gives us the um, Bill Bottom Bumdersworth um, pirate side quest done and that gives us an orb as well so that is now two out of three so thank you phil phil bottomsworth for some reason i'm going to call him mr bumsworth that's extremely rude for a video disgusting i don't like it anyway make sure to grab the star which is literally just to the right of the cannon before moving on easily missed that one and we are pretty much done for this section yes we are good, so now what we can do, um, get rid of that sort of floaty with the um, white flag on it. The next one is just the other side of the tracks, with another star underneath it. And just turn, us, turn the camera around to the right to get the another floaty with the white flag on it. They should be your final three stars. Um, so now we can basically get the other orb, but we've got another... <laughs> it's not annoying, the puzzle's very easy. But it's just a case of, you know, we've already spent enough time on this level and it's a pain in the ass. So what we've got to do is just go to the opposite ends of the track, shoot these three X's, and that's basically it done for this level. So not a lot else to say here. Make sure to just grab your cannon. We will have to do, we'll have to shoot the one cannon and then go back and smash the cannon the opposite way and then do that again. So... Yeah, this bit should be relatively self-explanatory, but, uh, well, I'm going to go down for a nap now, because, uh, god damn, this level P just pissed me off, especially the first time I went through it. But enjoy a break from my voice. Even I'm doing my own tits in today. Now, this is where I do get the Cannon Blast achievement, and that is for shooting 50 cannons. So, if you uh, complete these, do these three, and you still don't have the achievement, just keep spamming the A button on the cannon until you get it. Here it is. It's coming! Ah. Oh. oh, man. So much satisfaction. You want to put that in the lad Bible comment? Oh, watching people unlock achievements is so satisfying. Hey, I'm Lad Bible. Taking a dump is so satisfying. Stupid Lad Bible.
And there it is then. So once those three are finally done, we can collect that third orb and finally finish level four, which, like I said, is the longest level. So the next two only take around 20 minutes or so each, so that's not too bad. But we're not going to go into the next couple of levels yet. What we're actually going to do is go back to Turtle Island. And so there's La La Lava Island. Looks very, um, looks very warm. Looks very hot. But uh, let's go back all the way to the left to Turtle Island. We're going to grab the key and the lock, which of course we couldn't do first time around. So zoom out, spin the camera all the way to the right, and have a look at this monument on the shore. In, just press the A button on the lock. That will be the third stat. Grab this orange key. That will be the fourth stat, and unlock you the Cowabunga, dude. My name's Bart Simpson achievement. You can tell I'm really good at doing voices, right? <laughs> Anyway, once that is done, we are done with Toil Island. We're going to leave the Stoner Turtle to his life now. Um, but we're going to go now back to Shipwreck Island. Because, of course, we've done a lot in that level. But we haven't quite finished it yet. There is only one thing we have to do. And we just have to go to the Skull. Sort of Big Skull Island. Not that Skull. But the Big Skull Island. Basically, um, panning all the way down. All the way to the right or left. Whichever way you got it. Interact with the lock again. And then what that's going to do, that will be the Achievement Skull Mountain for unlocking said Skull Mountain minecart. And then there's going to be two relics at the end of this. Collect that, collect those two, and that should be the Here Be Treasure, mateys, arg arg arg. Um, achievement without the arg arg arg. And then we will now be free to leave and go to Lava Island. It's nice, it's a bit nippy in this friggin' rain. So here we are, let's go build a meerkat with meerkat movies in Lavar Island, eh? Huh? Yes. So, like I said, these next two levels are nice, not as tedious as the uh, last level in Shipwreck Island. But as we begin with our Quacker Adventurer, have a look underneath the snakehead for the first star. And in the sort of log thing is the second star. Now if we just spin the camera ever so slightly to the left, just down by the ladder, you can see some white monuments or white sort of um, panels up against each other. Behind the leaf is the next star, very well hidden, very easily missable. But from here, what we can do is head um, up and then to the right. We're actually going on to the right island. In this teepee is the next star. And then have a look up, you can see the domed rock. Open that one up, that's going to be the relic for us to interact with. Now, what you're going to see, there's four of these, um, like, sort of white squares. Oh, sorry. Spin the camera around to the right. In interact with this log where I am right now, and that is the next star. Apologies, almost missed that one. Oh, God. My brain. My old flipping brain. So, anyway, as I was saying, you've got a couple of these stones that we need to interact with and do these, um, get them into specific um, locations, and that is the first one where it kind of looks like a square, half a square. Interact with the slider just to the right of it, this monument, and there will be one star inside, and then the next star is to the right, j again, just beneath the bush, uh, inside that cave. So make sure to grab the two stars there before we move on. Oh, man, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Kind of getting a bit, uh, stupid with this one. Ah! Anyway, so there's me spinning around for some reason, but what we're going to do is actually head back up, back to the where the snake head is, and on top of the waterfall to the right of the snake is the next um, star. And then if we head to the right ever so slightly, just pan right on the tiny island, have a look underneath the bush again for another star. 
Now, what we're going to do is head sort of to the left a bit, and you can see just in the sort of tent or whatever that thing is, is another star. So grab the star, there it is, just in the tent, right in the middle, and then there's a domed rock just to the right next to that big white um, thing again. And make sure to grab the stat out of there. So what we're going to do now is spin the camera around just to the left a little bit, and then click the click your A button three times, so it looks like a sort of L shape type thing. Yeah, L shape type thing is good. Uh, pan to the le right ever so slightly, grab this star off the waterfall. Man, it's coming at you faster than a khaki party. Um, and another star there just underneath in the leaves by the waterfall as well. <laughs> God damn it, I got no time for jokes this time. Uh, let's see now. Okay, right, so what we're going to do is head to... Uh, we're going to spin it to the right, and there's going to be two switches right here, just underneath, that we can use. And then when that one pops up, like a guy going, ah with a switch in his mouth, turn the switch. And then this uh, it's kind of like puzzles. It's not really a puzzle. It's extremely easy. We're just going to do specific color-coded ones. So for this first one, um, put the second one white... And leave the rest black. Uh, for this one, do white, black, white, black. Spin it around. And, the, and then do uh, black, white, white, white. And make sure to grab the star on top of the waterfall as well. Now, before we uh, do the fourth one, interact with the nose of this thing. And there's going to be another star for us to interact with. Um, pan down on ye old D-pad. Come in. And interact with a switch, smack that down on the monument. And there's going to be another star inside. Now, as you can see, there's a star here. And to the right of us, there's a star with the sort of green button on top. But I get that one a little bit later on. I actually missed that one there. So do white, black, black, white for the final one. And then you're going to see these laser beams. How come nobody's figured this out in about a billion years? And who done this? Who designed this originally in the first place? You got some bowels, man. Okay, so from here... Right at the bottom of our screen, there's two tents, one with a star on it, and one with a star map in it. Again, make sure not to open the star map, of course, because that will avoid an achievement. You'll have to play through the game again, and my god, won't that be annoying. And then what we can do is head up and slightly to the right. Couple of well-hidden stars on this particular island. So the first one is actually behind the monument. As you can see on the right, we've got that sort of white square thing we need to interact with. But um, spin the camera around to the left slightly, and just behind the monument there is the first uh, star on this island. Now the second one is still on the same page, just by the green leaves, um, just beneath the snake statue. That is the second one. And then the third one, if we spin it around uh, to the left or right, it doesn't matter. We're just basically going the opposite side. There we go. There we go. Okay, almost there we go. It's not in this bush. Get out of my bush. But it is well hidden beneath those green leaves right there. And there's also a domed rock just to the right of us as well. So we're going to use that. So stick that up your pipe and smoke it. And also grab the relic as well. Since, since we're here, we might as well grab the relic. Right, now what we can do is interact with this once. And it, until it basically gets to like an eject button. So make sure you've done that one. So head down to this sort of, this is the final island. And there is two stars for us to collect here. One to the right of us in the tent and the one at the top. There is also one very uh, very sneakily hidden in a little crevice. So you can probably just see it. If you pan the camera around a little bit, there you go. Just in between the two sort of mountain tops there. So we've got nothing left to do. So interact with it once. Until it comes up with an arrow, another laser beam is going to happen as soon as we interact with these four switches. Now, this is just like the water puzzles we did in the forest level. So, uh, before we do that, have a look at the domed rock. So, zoom out, look at the domed rock at the bottom right corner of your screen to pick up another relic before we go ahead and do this one otherwise just skip again about 30 seconds to view the end product
And so what that's going to do then is wake up um, the cheap sort of looking Geodude thing and turn him into a fiery ginger. But what we're going to do first is interact with every one of these holes and there's going to be a star on top of every single one. So what I do is just sort of go from the bottom and as you can see, it, we're going to totally ignore uh, angry ginger Geodude for now. But we're just going to go around every single hole and there will be a star at the top of every single one. If you manage to get him, uh, don't worry, you obviously literally can't die or anything. So we are just ignoring him and his little ginger tangerines. So again, just go through every sort of water spout, every hole and there will be a star at the top of every one. So it's vitally important that you make sure to grab these as you go. Obviously you can't finish the level without it anyway. So if you are missing a star, chances are it's probably in one of these water spouts. So after you do them all, I just double check every single one just to make sure that we've got every single star so that we're not missing one and being pissed off about it later. Right, happy days. So since we've got every star here, um, now again, obviously what you're supposed to do is go through each water spout and try to aim for whichever one he's going on. But generally, I literally just found it easier to... Um, stick with the one that I am, the sort of left-hand side here. So it keeps popping up the middle one, because eventually they all go to the middle one, and it just saves messing around and being stressed. So, literally keep spamming the A button here, again, as long as you've got all the stars. And you're going to have about two more rounds of uh, dealing with this fiery uh, fat, uh, fat tangerine, the ginger geo dude. Who knew gingers were this fiery, huh? <laughs> I never... But that makes for a good viewing, I know. Yep, just keep spamming this then until um, the boss, if you want to call him that, gets deceased. Come on now, Geo Dude. You should know your weakness is water by now. <laughs> what a stupid battle! <laughs> anyway, we've killed the Fire God. It gives us another orb, and that is our first out of three. And we're actually coming up basically close to the end of the level now, which is always handy and tidy. So, where do we go from here? What we're going to do then? We're going to go ahead and find Milton. In fact, actually, let us grab the star from the very bottom. This sort of monument with the green button on it. The star is underneath. Remember, I uh, showed you it earlier on. Just to the left, you can see the sort of coloured puzzles, the black and white puzzle. So make sure to grab that one. That is where I grab it because I didn't get it earlier on. So now what we're going to do is look for Milton. There is the photo there, but again, we will grab that later on. Nay, panic in, my friends. But basically, Milton is in this sort of middle island and he's on this rock on this piece of wood so interact with him and he sort of goes over to the next island press the a button on, on him again and now we're going to flick all the way to the left on this tiny island right there uh, flick on him again and he's going to go sort of up and to the right just um, by this teepee flick on him again and he goes down to the sort of tiniest island on the final one and that slaps him down big time somehow doesn't break his back, doesn't break any of his bones. And that is pretty, uh, for about a thousand year old guy, that's pretty interesting. But that is where we get our second orb. Now, of course, we've only got one left for collecting the stars. But before we do that, let's just head back to where Milton put that big fat Milton hole. And there are three relics in here for us to collect. So, very important, make sure to be grabbing all three relics. And that one is done. Now, what Milton should be doing is, well, he's sitting on the edge. As you can see, there it is, just by the photo, he is sitting on an edge all alone. So, now what we're going to do is grab the photo from the left. Let's take a 
let's take a look in Uncle Albert's life. What's next? During the war, I had a daughter who helped me with stuff, and I had pretty pathetic stubble. I had lines for stubble. Then again, I've just literally got like a little ginger pubic bush on my chin, so I can't uh, say much. Right, spin the camera around. This is one I missed first time. Right in the crevice of these two mountains to the right where the photo was is the last star. That one is very easily missable. Drove me insane trying to pick that one up the first time. Otherwise, we are now good. So what we can do is just spin the camera around, interact with the star monument, which is close to Uncle Albie right there. And... Bam, bam, bam. Out comes the orb out of this green button. And that is that. So now, what are we going to do? Well, we got a couple more things to do, actually. Um, we're not actually going to go to the last island yet. But we're going to stick our buns huns through El Portolorio. Aww. God damn, we're so awesome. But this is the final island, the Labyrinth Island. Couple of puzzles to do on here, but generally... Not too frustrating, not too bad. Um, just like the rest of the game, to be honest. But the first thing we're going to do is head back to Forest Island. We're going to go to Dwayne Johnson, The Rock Island. We might as well call that, because no doubt there'll be a film about him coming out in, uh, soon. But what we're going to do is actually going to be doing the first and only um, time-missable achievement. So, interact with the lock here. Now, what will happen is the sheep will go in there. But what we need to do is... Um, basically swap the sheep around now what happens is every time you click on one they bounce so what we are needing to do is um, basically get a hole going so that obviously the sheep can move now the only time uh, another sheep can move in the other pen is if there is a space there so as you can see what you need to do is basically make a line so there is a white and black sheep more or less in each one but every time you get a space uh, space in the middle going like I just did with the black one make sure to put the white one down there so that the black sheep can sort of move up It's it's a bit tricky to explain. It's definitely easier to do um, easier to do than it is to explain But you need to do this within three minutes and 20 seconds So you're gonna do it in less than 200 seconds if you do um, end up failing for whatever particular reason um, you can, and I tried this many a times, you can just qu completely quit the game out to the Xbox menu, reload in, and you'll start again. So you'll basically have numerous tries, so you won't miss this one. Um, but yeah, so just keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, just just keep at it. It is easy enough when you have a rhythm going, uh, but it is definitely easier to learn by doing rather than explaining. And so there we have it then. So it's, again, that one may take you two or three tries. 
Um, but basically, she gives us a relic now, so that will get us the achievement called Hunter Gatherer for completing all the stats for Forest Island. But with that cheap herder one, that may take you, like I said, two or three tries. Sort of the first time or two to sort of get used to what you're doing, but then all of a sudden you will just have this click and you will have this flow of sort of what to do. Right, as soon as you start pushing the sheep more towards the sides and you sort of know where they're going to jump and everything, it will literally come to you. I ended up um, completing it within three minutes um, for over the next three times because I had to replay the game three times, which pissed me off. Right, anyway, no time to talk about that. Hopefully you can get that one as well. Otherwise, we're going to go back to Secret Base Island. And now we're going to be doing that liquid uh, puzzle that we didn't do earlier on. So, interact with the lock. And we're going to get this kind of um, orange Lucasade type thing. Now, the puzzle is messing about with these levers. So, let me tell you in order how to do this. So, first up then, we will move the left lever to the left. Then the middle lever to the right. And then the right lever to the left. Then the middle lever to the right. Then the left lever to the left. The middle lever to the right. And finally the right lever to the left. And that should get us the liquid levers or liquid levers achievement. Because my American is on point of course. And we should get three relics out of that. Which should get us the super sleuth. Or if you're proper British and you really are just awful at reading, Super Sleeth, for some reason, if you're into that stuff. But there we go. So we're done now with these particular islands. Now we can just go ahead and finish up the final one. So stick your buns through that portal, head over to Labyrinth Island. Come on, let's do this thing. And remember, we are coming up to another missable achievement immediately on this puzzle for doing this in 14 moves. So, obviously, if you remember from the first puzzle, you cannot let go of the A button. So, when you hold onto a piece, don't let go of the A button until you put it into a specific uh, into a specific place. Just follow along with exactly what I do here, and you will be fine. So, I do take my time, but just follow along, and you will be golden. And there it is then. So that is actually the one that I missed up, uh, messed up on first and ended up having to replay the whole game just to get back to this point, which is a pain in the ass. But when you've got that, then go back to where the puzzle was and just in the just at the bottom, in between the pink flowers, is another star. And there is another star just to the right by the lock. Uh, but we don't end up getting that. Um, just next to Milton or the old Uncle Albert is going to be another treasure chest with a star in it. Uh, for some reason, this one just confused me more than anything. Not particularly sure why, but if we head up um, to the top of the tre uh, to top of the puzzle, there's another treasure chest with another star in it, as you can see there. So I don't get the one on the left just yet. So if we head down ever so slightly, just in between these pink rocks, is another star. So slap that one out. And then from here, what we can do is we're actually going to spin the camera around, I think... 
No, we're actually going to be grabbing the ones on the left, just between the two buildings. So grab that one, and apparently I still haven't seen the one in, just up above in between the two rocks. Uh, so now what we're going to do is spin El Camarino around. So you're sort of front-facing the portal, as it were. And eventually we're going to get there, and then just in between the two pink crystals at the top of the screen was another star. And now from here what we're going to do is pan to the right... So, eventually we're going to pan to the right, there we go, editing editing genius, and it's hard to see, but in this little sort of light, puzzle of light or whatever, there is another star. Now, there are other ones here, but we're going to leave these alone for now, and again, editing genius, don't worry, I already know, you don't have to tell me seven times, which of course I'm not. <laughs> but now I end up getting the one just in between the pink rocks, just by the purple lock from earlier on. You can interact with it, but we can't actually do anything with it just yet because we don't have the purple key. We'll get the purple key later on from that snoozing crystallized turtle, what a man, whatever the flip that is. Otherwise, for now, we can just go ahead and uh, go to this next puzzle. At the minute, I was just thinking that there was one I was potentially missing. I don't actually think there was uh, any stars that I was missing. Like I said, for some reason, this level confused the nutsacks off me. So, to get past this puzzle then, interact with all three of these, um, whatever they are, and then we're going to spin it around. So spin the camera all the way around. And there is actually another star just below us in between the two crystals. So, um, just by the first box right there it is so just by the first box in between the two crystals there or the two pink rocks is the next star <clears throat> so from here what we're going to do we need to push these buttons in a specific order as per so the first one we just push the uh, left button only the left button on here so that the two are done and then for the next block the middle button again so that the uh, one up and down is colored up Turn the camera around and then just interact with the left and the right button. And that will slap out this next part, which will um, involve just getting some switches done. Switches for bitches, yeah? 2K19, bruh. I am Gangster G. Anyway, hit all the three buttons. I really don't know what I'm on about now. I've lost it, lost the plot. And then you need to spin it around. There are three more buttons for us to sort of interact with. So you need to press the left stick and the A button, and that will be enough for us to jump on through to the other side. Right, another couple of stars, photos, and everything that we're going to be grabbing here. So, first things first, zoom out, and then the first thing we're going to grab is the star map on the left-hand side, just on a pink rock on its own. Remember not to view the star map, I know I've said it in every level, but don't be tempted, because you will be ultimately pissed off if you accidentally view it and void the achievement and have to go through it again, <laughs> wouldn't you? You'd be tamping. And then that would just piss you off. Right, from here then, um, spin the camera ever so slightly left, and just behind those pink plants there is another star for us to collect. Uh, stupid mushroom puzzle. Anyway, I'll show you the easiest way we can do that. Uh, just having a check, there are a few more things we can grab um it basically means two photos as we can see there just by the pink rocks which was just by the flowers where we just picked up that last star oh my god daddy's gone i'm 30 now where the hell is that son's a bitch daddy just went to get some milk from the bermuda triangle right anyway so once you picked up the star and the photo which again was just by the pink sort of plant at the back right there now we're going to be grabbing two treasure chests so one at the top right hand corner which just has a star in it and then if we pan the camera down just a touch again we are going to see another treasure chest on its own on the right with a relic in it there we go so that is all the stars and everything done for this specific little section now this uh puzzle I had a bit of trouble with. What you're supposed to do is follow the pattern what the mushrooms are going in and just interact with anyone. But you can start off with anyone. What I did was actually end up um, following this picture which I found online um, and it worked absolutely first time. So I'm hoping that it does work for you too. Um, so feel free to pause the video and it's sort of from the angle with the pink um, flowers in the back. But I followed the exact same pattern after trying numerous ways um, of 
trying to follow along and it just was not working so following that again i'm not sure if it's randomized but i followed that exact same pattern and it seemed to work so hopefully it's not uh, randomized and that is the order every time but if you are stuck of what to do you literally just have to follow the pattern you can start with any one but you just have to follow the pattern and copy the pattern. But it does go by quite quickly. But hopefully, like I said, that picture is the same for everyone every time. So we come up to the old uh, Big Boy Chunky Nuts puzzle very soon. But first things first, we have got a little bit of railroading to do. Now there's a star just right there on, uh, on the plants, just to the right of the Big Boy Chunky Nuts puzzle. And for this bit... Do I grab them now? I believe I do. So yeah, just up to these sort of small pink rocks section. Spin the camera around. In the middle of the pink rocks is a star and to the left is a relic. So make sure to grab those two and that should be at uh, that for that particular section. That little beam of light, remember we grabbed at the star at the beginning of the chapter. Now in between this extremely pink rock, it might be very hard to see, but in between the crevices is the next uh, stat, is the next relic. So there is a, uh, just in the middle, as you can see here, in the middle is of the cave, in the middle of these train tracks is another star. So pick that one up, and then what we should do is actually go ahead and grab that relic. So it's in the, you can probably just see it right at the bottom of your screen there, the most pinkiest, relicyest um, stat, but we're grabbing another star just off to the right of that pink, uh, of the pink rock. So my apologies, I actually forgot about those two stars. I was focusing on getting this um, <laughs> relic from the pink one first. But make sure to grab two stars then, one from the middle of the cave and one just to the right. There's another two up here as well, um, just at the start where Milton is. Another two stars hiding in the plant pot, just where Milton is in the minecart. And... <laughs> right now I think I go for it so it was actually four I forgot but hopefully uh, my babbling well seemed to go a little bit better and you managed to pick those four up otherwise now this time I do believe yes yeah so so this time finally so we picked up the four stars one in the middle one off to the sort of right of this pink pink rock where, where we just grabbed the relic and stat from and to where the minecart is, uh, where Delboy Milton is right now. So just to the left of the star monument as well, uh, just in the plants, as you can see, is another star. So that was just to the left of the star monument. And now I believe we can go. So to clear this sort of puzzle, we just have to go to the three dead ends. Again, kind of finicky with the controls and everything, but owl good, owl good. Uh, so head to the first dead end right there. That's basically going to get one of the lights going. Um, just nip off to the other two, and then we can get on through to the other side. So just before then you nip it onto the big puzzle, um, spin the camera around to the right or left, doesn't matter, but there's another star just underneath the train track where we are right now. So eventually, pan, pan the camera down as well if you want to, but eventually you should see it sneakily hidden like a big butt snatch once again. And just like the water and the big geodude fire ones, if you just head here, and skip it forward to about 30 or 40 seconds to see the end product to get big boy Uncle Albert Milton running across. Even though I don't know why he couldn't just jump up and then run across and, you know, miss all the gaps. But, um, you know, I'm not, I wasn't stuck in the Bermuda Triangle for three apparent decades.
Now if you are wondering what to do, just go ahead and interact with the star monument. You should now have all the stars, thank god, because this level just pissed me off. There we go, so once that's done, now this door will open and now we can go up to see the crystallized stoner turtle. Who is basically going to give us the purple key. Thank god for that. It's almost over. <laughs> First rule in life, if you go to um, interact with the lock, make sure you actually pick up the key first. So, yeah, that's my big life advice for this particular video. So pick up the purple key, interact with the lock, and that should get you the crystal clear achievement for completing all stats for Labyrinth, Labyrinth Island. Now all that we've got to do is uh, put these big towers in a particular order. So, again, no point me yammering on through it. I've uh, yammered enough, I think, throughout this video. You've probably had an absolute tip bag in my voice by now, which is only fair. So, copy along and enjoy the stunning scenery of the end of the game. Now jump free willy, jump to your doom, I mean your freedom. So we have to go through all of that just to, like couldn't we have just literally like f taken a portal to Labyrinth Island, done this bit and then we would have just completely cut out the middleman. Oh for some reason when we get back as well we lose our glorious white Santa Claus beard and we're just back with um, pubic lines. Well that's, that's okay I suppose, at, le at least he's home. 
But with that then, you should now get the Escape Bermuda achievement and the Escape Master for helping Al Uncle Santa Claus to escape without using a star map as well. So as long as you didn't open a single star map, you will get both of those achievements, which is all done. Oh, there you go. Back in the horn dog days of banging on an aeroplane. Yep. Uh, unskippable cutscene, but it's always nice to have a happy ending, isn't it? Always just... It, it makes the heart warm. Even the coldest of hearts can get warm at a happy ending. I think. <laughs> But for the last achievement then, is, um, providing of course that you've done all the stats, all you've got to do, uh, collected all the relics, collected everything that we have done, interacting with the Relic Monument will get you the Relic Monument achievement. If you haven't, um, you can actually replay the levels in order to get the stats. But again, any missable achievements wouldn't work. But that is that then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope you enjoyed the guide, and that it helped as well. Of course, if it did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And again, a big, huge, massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Honestly, it, it just blows my mind, the support I get from there, from all you guys and gals on there. So thank you so, so much. And with that one being done then, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Big love.